Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Alan Frost by HD here, and I am bringing you back with another mod showcase. And this time, it's going to be over the mod of Frozen Land. So, pretty much what Frozen Land does, it adds a new dimension to Minecraft on the PC, and in that dimension, everything's like icy and snowy like. There's also icy and snowy like themed caves, there's themed villages that spawn around the map in there, and everything's just really awesome. So, if we go ahead and get into it, there's actually new tools and also new blocks added into it. So let's go ahead and jump right into the blocks first. So as you see, there are the new blocks of packed ice and slippery ice. The difference between those two is packed ice, it cannot be melted, and it's a little bit harder to break than regular ice and slippery ice. You can slide on it and then make really fun little slides thing. It's for like entertainment and transport around the map faster, which I'll get into that in the actual dimension. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the textures of the two blocks. So this is regular ice compared to this one's packed ice, and this is slippery ice. So you can see completely all the way through ice, but you cannot at all packed ice. And you cannot at all slippery ice, but the packed ice is a little bit more packed than slippery ice. And there's also slabs and stairs. So this is packed ice uh, slab, this is slippery ice uh, slab, this is packed ice stairs, and this is the stairs for slippery ice. And that's, once again, the two blocks of packed ice and slippery ice. And that's pretty much it for the uh, ice. But to make these blocks, though, it's a little bit expensive, and you're going to need a silk touch pickaxe. So to make packed ice, you're going to need nine ice blocks in a craft table like this, and you get one single piece of packed ice. And slippery ice is a little bit more expensive. You're going to need nine packed ice in a crafting table like this. So you're going to have to really start mining with that uh, silk touch uh, pickaxe. But once you actually get into the dimension, you can just get all those blocks there. So it's fine. You don't have to really go too ham with it. And there's also slabs. The slabs are like any normal thing. You just need slippery ice for the slippery ice stabs. Slabs, same for packed ice. And same for all the stairs. It's the normal stair recipe, but you just use it with the block that you want to make the stairs with. So, that pretty much covers it for all the blocks. But I'm actually going into further detail what the slippery block can do in the actual dimension. But first, let's go ahead and get into the tools. So, there are new tools. There's the ice sword, which has the five attack damage. There's the ice pickaxe, the ice axe. Ice shovel, ice hoe, and ice bow. And as you can see, you're probably thinking, well, these tools aren't very that good. But, you know, it's the concept of having ice tools in a frosty land, which is really awesome because of me. You know, my name is like I'm Frostbite, so like it's gonna be my home, and I would like some ice tools with me to match up with everything. But there is a solution to this. You can make these tools stronger. So if I shift on the item, it says upgraded zero, okay? So you can actually upgrade these and make the durability bigger and the attack damage bigger and all that stuff and make it stronger. So I'm gonna go ahead and see out the ice pickaxe to show you and you need packed ice for this. So if I go into a crafting table and put the ice pickaxe in the center or any other thing that you're trying to upgrade like the ice sword or stuff, you'd surround it with packed ice like this completely. And if I go up shift up here, it says upgraded 72. So I've upgraded this and it made it stronger, durability lasts longer. And you can just keep doing this as you see. Shift on it, 144, boom. I want to do it again? Okay, let's do it again. 216, boom, look at that. See, I'll just keep upgrading. I'm wondering if I can go one more time. I don't know the actual maximum and upgrading yet. Y'all guys can figure that out, but I'm already at 288, and I'm going to stop there because this thing is probably really powerful now. So I'm going to test that later on. But that's pretty much it for the tools and stuff. Actually, no, it is not. I'm dumb. Okay, there's also the ice bow, which you can upgrade and shoots arrows, and there's ice balls. So, ice balls is pretty much just like snowballs. This is textured differently. You throw them, and when you throw them, it makes like a breaking glass texture sound noise. So, that's pretty cool. And the bow, you just draw it back, and it has a cool look to it. It's just like a regular bow, but it just looks cooler, or like a frosty bow. You know, it's awesome. So... I think that's everything, yeah, so that's everything, so let's go ahead and get into how you actually make these blocks, actually I'm going to go ahead and grab all these first before I can use them in there, so let's grab all these tools and let's just put them up here. So to actually make the dimension thing, it's weird because it's like a dimensional book. So you need three ice cubes, uh, ender pearl, and a book, and go into the crafting table and make the three ice cubes in like an arrow formation like so. Ender pearl in the middle with a book at the bottom, and it makes the frozen land dimensional book. And it owns it right to you, so it teleports you into the dimension and you only. So, but it's weird because it's not like a nether portal or anything, it's like a book. So when I right click this book, it's going to take me to dimension, and I'm going to do that right now. Ooh, so as you see, it already looks really awesome. Everything's like all snowy wet and like and so whatever. There's ice, humongous ice mountains combined with snow. Everything just looks amazing. And yeah, just look how amazing this all looks. 
everything just looks so freaking epic. And I'm trying to find where I've already set up things. I've been on this before to explore this. Okay, here we are, guys. Sorry, it took me a second to find it because I've already set it up and I like this place right here because it looks really awesome over here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the cave part right now. So as you see, there's like a little cave under here, under this little ice, and I found that when I was exploring this world. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what it, caves look like. So all the caves are, it has like pi packed ice as the ground and looks really cool. And it's a normal cave. It goes all the way down and get your ores. It's just frosty themed and all the stuff. And it's just really awesome. So, and also there's these themed villages that I was talking about earlier too. And these are made out of stone brick and I guess spruce wood as the roof and stuff, but it just looks really cool in all this village. It's like a normal village. As you see, it's a normal villager. If I can get up to him to trade, let's just see. Yeah, it's normal trades from him. It's just normal village, but it's just themed as a snowy type thing. And the farms, I'm not quite sure how they're going to eat food because it's ice in the farms and food can't grow from ice. It needs water. As you see, the crops aren't growing that well. So I don't know like how they eat or nothing. They probably see ice because that's all they can eat pretty much because they ain't going to grow with no ice unless it's, I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and show you the slippery ice. And that is pretty much one of the biggest things of this mod because it is just really awesome and it creates these epic ice slides. So pretty much what the slippery ice does, it makes you go like really fast and have these really cool slides. So if you get onto the block and just walk in a straight line, you start going really fast. As you see, like, I'm, whoa. <laughs> and, yeah, so you go, like, really fast. And if you have stairs, too, it makes it go even faster. So, I, oh, yeah, I had that there. And he knocks, he knocks it through uh, blocks on it. Blocks do the same things. So I go ahead and throw this carrot that I got somehow from a farm. And look at that. It's just, it's gone. It, <laughs> it goes fast. I mean, it's just really awesome. So let's go over here and do this again. Like, it's fun. Like, come on. So we just get on it, and once again, you just walk forward. That's all you're doing, just walking forward, and you're still going really fast. Wee! And up the stairs, you like you go extremely fast. So as you can see, this map this looks awesome. Well, yeah, the world. If you the world that it generates, this looks awesome. Ooh, you have like an ice skating ring over here if you really wanted to. That would be awesome. To have a thing over here. It's like a, like a ravine over there. I don't know, but. As you see, it just looks really awesome. The map is awesome. The dimensions awesome looking. Everything just looks so good. The village just looks good. Everything is really done. I give props to the dude who made this mod because this is awesome. Like this is my home pretty much because I'm, I'm frostbite. And this is awesome. So I know I just keep saying awesome, but there's not a better word to use to describe this. So I think that's it for this mod showcase. If you enjoyed, guys, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and go check out my other mod showcases if you enjoyed this one. And that it's going to be it for me. I'm out, guys.